Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another makeup related video. Today we are doing the intro for Deca Panning 2024. I am so excited for this. This is my second year doing this, but this is the fourth year of this project pan going. And I'm so excited to share with you a little bit more about what it is. For those of you who are new here, have never heard of Deca Panning, I'm hopefully gonna explain it well for you. And if not, there are other intro videos that might give you a better understanding of it as well. I also have all of last year's project of my videos and all of my updates in a playlist. I will link that as well. So if you want to catch up while you wait for the next update, that is also open to you. So very quickly, first, hello. Welcome to my channel if you are brand new. I'm so glad to have you here with us today. Leave me a comment, say hello. I love catching up with everybody in the comments. And if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much. So today, because this is an intro again, I am going to be referencing some notes on my phone a couple times here and there just to make sure I don't miss anything, but I'm also going to try to keep this kind of shorter um, because we wanna to get to the really fun part, which is actually playing the game. So if you know what Project Pan is, Project Pans are basically a way to use up the products you already have in your collections. It is meant to encourage you to maybe hit pan, which means hit the bottom of something, or to maybe start using something that you've been afraid to use, basically just meant to help encourage you to use the stuff you already own. And that's why I love Project Pans because as much as I love buying new makeup and I'm always wanting more, I also firmly believe that we need to be using the products we already have before we bring in much more. Okay, so that's why I love these. And then this particular project pan is run much different from any other project pan I've seen out there, okay? So this one is a mixture of a game board and a project pan. And uh, this was created by Emily from Emily and Max. And she created this, and I believe she created this four years ago. Uh, like I said, this is my second time doing this. She was inspired to do this by Books with Maddie, which I believe is one of our friends who has a book, YouTube, all of that information will be down below. Like I said, she was inspired by that, but she got permission to use kind of that same layout, but tweak it for makeup related stuff. So the basics for this project are you're going to need a full deck of cards with one joker. I do know some people who have in the past used two jokers and that didn't go so well. You're welcome to use two jokers if you'd like. But if you get them both pulled, that might not be very fun for you. But it's completely up to you. Um, but generally, you're gonna use a full deck with one joker in it. I have my Mickey Mouse deck. I absolutely love Disney and especially Mickey Mouse and like the classic Mickey and this deck I found mid-year last year and I'm so excited. I love using this thing. This runs from January 20th through December 20th. So there's a whole month off for the holidays and to give you a break. If you would like to follow along and do this with me, you can. You can do this as a YouTuber. Um, if you want to do that, leave a comment down below and I will make sure you get the right information to be able to add it to the correct groups to stay on top of everything. You can also follow along as an Instagrammer and just post pictures of your progress or you can just follow along for the fun of it and just post your updates and what cards you draw in the comment below. I'd love to follow you along if you're doing that. Even if you're a YouTuber or Instagram, however you're doing it, I'd love to follow you along on that. You will start with five products, um, unless you get a special card that adds in more, but generally you will start with five products. Updates, 
which means new cards drawn will be every month on the 20th. Every month, Emily shuffles the number game board, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, and the cards that are pulled every month are put back into the deck and could possibly be picked again next month, but they could possibly be a different uh, prompt. Uh, you may get repeat prompts because the prompts do switch every time. So what was a prompt pulled for a three of diamonds this month might be the same prompt pulled as a five of diamonds next month. Just kind of depends. So Emily has created an amazing document online for all of us to access where she updates all of the things all the time and she has a cheat sheet of how to interpret the prompts. For the most part, they're pretty straightforward. Sometimes there's some that we look a little deeper in and sometimes there's some that we have to fudge a little bit based on what works for our collections. So let's look at the game board. So I'm gonna split this up into two, but this is the first look at the whole game board. You can see that there are the uh, face cards are separate from the rest of the cards. And so I'm gonna dig in a little bit deeper and explain how this works. So, face cards. We have the red, it's split up based on the reds, the blacks, and then the ace, jack, king, queen within that. So this section does not change month to month. This section stays the same. So these prompts will always be the same. And then there's also the Joker on there. Again, that one also stays the same. So the Joker. The Joker card is something that you can either pick right at the start, right now, or you can pick it later on. I think it's better to pick it now. Here's why. The Joker card is supposed to be something that either you really don't want to pan because it has sentimental value to you and you don't want it to be gone or something that's very difficult for you to use because you just don't like you don't like using that type of product that much or it's harder for you to use but yet you still keep it in your collection or maybe it's a color that you love but you can't figure out how to use very well you know it's, it's a super challenge card is the way i see it so i like to pick at the start of the year what that product is going to be so that when i roll that in I already know and I don't have to go think and it feels less like I'm cheating if I'm picking later on. Uh, the other prompts on here I'm going to touch on real quick. We're just going to go through just these ones because these have the ones that are going to be every month. Okay, so for the, the heart and diamonds A, you pick up two, which means you're adding a second product. So or you're adding an additional product. So instead of having five card or five products, you're gonna have six. Um, some people will go back down on the following month and go back down to five unless they pick this again. I like to do it where if I pick that ace of heart or diamond, then my new starting number is always six. And if I pick it again, it's always seven. I do put a limit of 10, okay? It's just where it's gonna sit. Keeping with the uh, red cards, the Jack is pretty explanatory. It's a cream or liquid product. The Queen is pay, pick your space, but it has to be in the hearts column or the diamonds column. And then the King is hit a pan. So pick something you don't have a pan in and your goal is to hit a pan in that. So it might be around for a couple months. Then moving over to the clubs and spades, the first is the ace, which is actually my suggestion, and I am so happy that it went over well enough that Emily picked it to be in here. It is the get out of jail free card. So there is a total of two of these to be had in this deck, and you don't roll these in. These do not go back into your deck. So basically, when you pull the uh, clubs or spades of ace, you're gonna hold on to that until you get a prompt you do not wanna do. In the middle of winter, and you don't go outdoors very much, and you got a sunscreen. Maybe you wanna use that. Or maybe it's 
a specific color that you have nothing in your collection for, you could use it for that. Whatever it is, it's just like Monopoly, it's a get out of jail free card. Um, and so you're gonna save that until your next thing. For the Jack, it's gonna be a powder product. And then for pick your space, for the clubs and spades, again, you have to pick from either the corresponding clubs or space section. And then lastly is king, which is has a pan. So for this one, you're going to pick something that already has pan and try to use it more, whether it be a usage goal or uh, you wanna make the pan bigger or maybe you wanna use it all up. If you're like me and you don't have many options for that, maybe it'll be skincare that you've just been putting off finishing. Okay, then here is what this month's numbered cards look like. This is what gets rotated and uh, changed every single month. But there is a document that has every single prompt in it um, with definitions. So this I'm not gonna go through because there's just so many prompts. I will show you every month's prompts um, and basically whatever card you pick, you find the corresponding thing. There is one on here that I want to pick out because I have another suggestion that made it to the board. Not only made it to the suggestions, not only made it to, okay, eventually it'll get on there, but actually made it to the first initial board. And that is in the diamonds, pe uh, diamond, 10 of diamonds, and that is peach fuzz. That was my suggestion based on the color of the year, which is peach fuzz. I personally think peach is going to be everywhere this year in makeup, and so why not put it on the board? So I'm so excited that Emily decided to use two of my suggestions. I am very excited. <laughs> and I really hope I get to use my suggestions because I think they were pretty fun. And apparently so did a lot of other people because they made it there. Okay, so that is the basics of how this runs. We're gonna pick this month's products and we're gonna play it together. And if I come up with something that maybe I forgot to explain, I'll be sure to explain it. The updates every month will have a very small intro, like two to three minutes, not even. Um, and that's why this video is much longer so that if people really want to know how this works without having to just watch a couple videos to kind of get it, um, they can come back to here. So, but now we are going to jump into actually picking for the first cards for 2024. I, I've got my deck and I've already made it so that I only have the one Joker in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these up. And if you are new and if you have never seen my videos, this is how I shuffle. It's horrible. I need a shuffling machine, okay? That is on my wish list. I need a shuffling machine because I am the world's worst shuffler. Everybody has tried to teach me. Since I was a child, I have been trying, every single person who finds out I don't know how to shuffle has tried to teach me. And I have gotten better over the years. I don't just, you know, fling it all up in the air and pick it all up. <laughs> yes, I used to do that when I was a kid, but I don't, um, I still am not good at it. So I'm going to probably apologize for that at during these videos every single time, every single time. So for usages on this, um, unless it specifically says a usage, which I don't think there are any, um, except for like hit pan, it's pretty much up to you. So if you want the goal to roll something, to roll all your cards out every month, you're probably gonna pick goals or usage goals that are much lower. If you want to make so much progress, but you don't really care about rolling in too many cards every month, then you can have higher goals. And then also consider how much you actually wear makeup. If you are somebody who is only wearing makeup maybe two to three times a week, you're not gonna get through a huge goal. But if you are somebody who wears makeup maybe every day or even five days a week, you might hit a better goal. So just keep that in mind when it comes to your usage goals. And that's what I try to keep in mind. Last year I had a couple that were in for way too long. All right, so picking the cards, I'm going to have the uh, game board here so we can find out together what it's gonna be. 
Let's see. All right. All right, so the first card is going to be a two of clubs. Right? Yeah, two of clubs. That is a sentimental item. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not the right. <laughs> that's the wrong thing. Okay, two of clubs is a baby goal. Okay, so something I want to use that has a super small goal. For me, depending on the product I use, it might be anywhere from three to five. We'll see. All right, so that's the first card. The second card picked is, is that a joker? No, it's a jack, wow. I, it's hard to see, okay? It's hard to see in this. Uh, a oh, jack of hearts, which is, sorry, I'm scrolling back to my thing. Jack of Hearts is a cream or liquid product. Okay. Okay. Card number three. Well, that is going to be a seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. The seven of diamonds is a spray. Okay. Hmm. So for spray, I could go like a setting spray, or I could even do a fragrance. Think about that one. All right, the fourth card is, oh, we have another uh, face card. This is a king of diamonds. The king of diamonds is, hit a pan. Oh no, so I'm starting with a baby goal and then basically a long-term goal for me to hit a pan. Unless I bring in like a face product that's super close. Oh boy, all right, let's see. Do we get one more card? Card number five, we have the nine of diamonds. All right, what is the nine of diamonds? A pencil. Okay, so I could do a lip pencil, a brow pencil, um, an eyeliner. Okay, so it has to be a pencil. Okay, so those are my five cards. I'm gonna go pick my products and I'll be right back to show you them. All right, I'm back. Took a little bit longer than I expected, not because it was hard to pick the numbers, but because I had an unexpected errand I had to run. So hopefully the lighting isn't too drastically different from just a moment ago. But let's go over the products I'm picking and the usage goal. So first was the two of clubs, which is a baby goal. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll in the Perlis Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream uh, with an SPS 30. This is in the shade Fair. I've had this sample size for a while and it actually has had a lot more product in it than I thought. So I'm excited to go ahead and hopefully use this up for my goal. It is to use this up, which I think is going to be maybe three. I'm going to track it and see how much it is. But whatever it is, it will count as a baby goal, no doubt about it. And then I'll be able to roll this out. Then I rolled in the Jack of Hearts, which was a cream or liquid product. And I'm going to be rolling in the Ofra Cosmetics Liquid Highlighter in um, Presley. This item I've had for a while. And honestly, I haven't used it all that much because I don't know how to properly use it. And so I want to change that. Now this time of year, I don't really have a lot of events I'm going to or a lot of times where I'm naturally wearing a highlighter. So I'm going to put this as a goal use of five because I don't want to go too high to where I don't get to roll this out next month because next month also won't have many options of wearing it. So if I put too high, it'll stay in for a couple months. So I'm just gonna do five on this one as well. Then I rolled in the seven of diamonds and that one is a spray. And for this one, I decided not to do makeup or even fragrance. Instead, I'm doing a hair item. And that is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. This one I'm gonna do a goal usage of 10 because I do want to make some progress in this because this is something that I really, I don't wanna throw away, but I haven't seen from a little bit I've used it any like point in it. And so I wanna give it a fair shot. 
see if it's worth keeping or if I need to just declutter it. Okay, so that is the sea salt spray. If you use one of these, let me know how you prefer to use it because I'm new to this. Then we rolled in the King of Diamonds, which is, so the King of Diamond is hit a pan and I debated. I was originally thinking, well, maybe I'll just bring in a skincare item that I'm kind of close to hitting pan on, but I felt like I wanted something different. So I do not think to the best of my knowledge in all of my years of doing night makeup that I have ever hit pan in an eyeshadow product before having to part with it. And I want that to change in 2024. So I am going to bring in a specific shade from ColourPop's Makeup Palette Bare Necessities. Guys, this palette I dig into constantly and I'm shocked I don't have pans. This thing is gonna be a shock of a mess, okay? It just is. I've tried cleaning it, it doesn't, it doesn't stay clean. Like even the outside, it's a mess. And it's not because things are falling out. Like, it's not because of anything wrong with the palette. It's because of how much I use this. <laughs> it's so messy, but it's such a pretty palette and I'm able to use this so often. I'm gonna roll in specifically though, the shade All For You which is this shade right here. And hopefully you can see there's already a dip, pretty good dip. I almost picked this one because it's a more spread out dip, but this color I can use with so many different color looks versus this one I feel like I'm a little bit more limited on. So this one, it does not have pen yet. It has a really big dip right there. Um, and I'm gonna keep working at it and uh, my goal is, of course, to hit pin. So this one will probably be in for a while, for a while. If I do accidentally hit pan in the uh, tabloid one before the all for you, then I will also count that. But I'm not going to be focusing on that one, so I probably that probably won't happen. But that one is going to be in for quite a few months because I'm going to keep it in until I hit pin. We'll see how long that takes. The last card drawn was the Nine of Diamonds, and that one's a pencil. For this one, I decided to go with a lip pencil that I have yet to open because it's one that I've been meaning to open and have kind of forgotten about time and time again, and I wanna open it and use it. So this is from Ofer Cosmetics. This is the Lip Liner in Chestnut. And actually, let's just go ahead and open it together and swatch it so we can see what it looks like. I have a feeling that it's much darker than I was expecting when I originally bought it. And that's kind of why, that's why I haven't opened it because I see this and I'm like, oh, that's darker than I thought. But maybe, maybe I'll be surprised. And if it is dark, maybe I'll find a different way to use it. Okay, it is still pretty dark, but I think I have a couple lipsticks or lip um, oils even that might work with it. Let's see. Okay, that is pretty dark. That is pretty dark for my skin tone, but I think I can make it work. I think I might be able to get some use out of it. I don't know why I tested it right there. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it is pretty dark, but I think, I think I'll be able to figure something out. So because it is so dark, I don't want to put a really high thing on it, but I do want to find a way to use it and what products I can use it with. So I'm going to give it a use of 10 because 10 is a little high. I was originally going to do five, but there's more than five products I want to try it with. So I'm going to give it a usage goal of 10. And hopefully by then, I will have found how I can use it, if I can use it, and if I can't, if I can find a different way of using it. Um, yeah, what are some creative ways I could use this if I can't use it as a lip liner? Let me know in the comments below. I would love your opinions. So those are the products that next month I will come back, give you my updates on, and hopefully be able to draw in new products. If you are doing this with me, please let me know below. And if you're not, still say hi. I wanna catch up with you 
and I will see you all in a video very soon. Bye-bye.